Hey everyone, welcome to another coach video tip. My name is Dan Foster. I'm the chief operating officer and an executive coach here at Building Champions. And today I am so pleased that I get to be speaking with my good friend, Matt Cummings. He's not only a former client, but he's a coach with us. And Matt, it is just so great to be with you today. Good to be here, Dan. Good to always good to, to see you and, yes. uh, and spend some time together. This is good. Absolutely, my friend. You know, Matt, our theme this month at Building Champions is all around coaching leadership. And for this video tip, we want to hone in on the mindset of a coaching leader. And I'm really excited to learn from you because I know you work with your clients specifically around becoming a coaching leader within their organization. So you ready to jump in? And I've got just a few questions for you that I think you can provide some great insight on. You bet. You bet. All right. So Matt, we talk at Building Champions, a lot about this idea of a, a leadership mindset and how it is just so important. In fact, it's as important as leadership behaviors. Um, in fact, all of our coaching programs, we, we, we deal with this. We talk about this with our clients. So Matt, in general, why don't you just share with us, why is a leader's mindset so crucial for their overall effectiveness? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, you're right. I mean, our mindset, the way we think, feel, and believe yeah. really impacts how we act. What happens on the inside is really empowering what's happening on the outside. So when that inside is healthy and positive, our our actions are likewise yes. positive and, and, and it's, and it's contagious and yeah. that it empowers others and, it, and you're better equipped to inspire and motivate and guide your teams. Love it. Conversely, though, you know, when when things aren't going well on the inside, mm -hmm. when like, for example, if a leader has a fixed mindset, yeah, they're, they're, they can lead to micromanagement. You know, they, yeah. they're they're afraid and they're they're driven by fear rather than just the belief that the team is is good and, and can and can produce. I love it. What you said there, Matt, the, the key word that I picked up on was that it's contagious and it's really whether it's a positive leadership mindset, a, a growth mindset, like you were saying, or if it's a negative mindset, either way, it's contagious and it's going to have an impact on the people that you're leading as a leader. Is that right? Absolutely. Whether you want it to or not, it, it does have an impact. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So let's talk about this whole idea of a, the mindset of a coaching leader. So what makes mm -hmm. this sort of mindset unique and what do you think are some of the beliefs that a coaching leader needs to have uh, for their mindset? Sure, sure. Well, we talk about our beliefs kind of uh, also in, in terms of like levels, right? So okay. the first level we like to talk about is ourselves. Like, what do we believe about ourselves? Yeah. And so along those lines, I like to think about just the idea of having a growth mindset. Hmm. As opposed to a fixed mindset, like I was talking about yeah. earlier. If a belief, if, if the belief is there, that, uh, that the team can perform and can improve, then you're going to pour into your team and help them improve. Yes. They're going to, if you believe in yourself and your ability to lead others, then you will, you will take action and take steps. That's good. And so That's good. how you see challenges and opportunities for growth, and it really kind of just, there's that ripple effect, you know, and 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 and, and, uh, and you, your teams will embrace it and and catch on, and and, and that's that contagion. That's good. Uh, that so it, talking about. it yeah. really starts with what I believe about myself. You're saying so. Sure. I yeah. as a yep, leader, yep. I have to have the right mindset in terms of what I'm believing about myself and my abilities to be a leader. So, okay, that's good. I got exactly. that. What's the yeah. second level there? Then, what do you have to? What's the next area level of belief? Right. That's and that's how you believe what you believe about others, the people you're working with, the people okay. you're working for. The okay. you know, maybe it's your your own leadership. But in, yeah. when you're thinking about leading others, uh, a belief that I like to think about here is just the the idea of having empathy and mm -hmm. your job as a leader to support them and yeah. understanding that your your team members uh, they they will lean on you and 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 if 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 you come across and, and have this sense of empathy and caring, then uh, then they're then they're going to be able to trust you and and it's going to uh, it's really going to foster that environment where people feel valued okay. and understood. So having empathy yes. uh, for the people and just caring for the people and having this just 
innate nature to want and desire to help yeah. is, uh, is key there for that, yeah. that second it, level. I have seen, um, I think they're Gallup surveys and forgive me if I'm wrong on this, but it talks about how the, the, the overall, the hierarchy of needs, if you will, of an employee. Mm -hmm. And one of those needs at the top is that they want a leader who cares and is interested in their development and is interested in what's mm -hmm. going on with them. And there's someone that they can talk to. And it, I, I think that's what you're getting at here, right? You've got to have that, sure. be that care for them as an individual. So Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about that third level then. What's the third level of, of the leap? If we have self, we've got team, and then what's the mm -hmm. third? That's that's around the, that's the organization, okay. the company you work for. So for us, it would be building champions. What yeah. are our beliefs around our, our company that yeah. that we're here to to serve? Yes. And so, and, and really the, the belief that I want to talk about here is really around having this purpose-driven approach, okay. thinking about and aligning your team's effort to a larger purpose. Everybody yes. wants to know what a win looks like. Everybody wants to know that the work that they're doing matters in, in, in spheres larger than themselves. Yes. So if you can connect the dots between the, the purpose or the, 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 the targets driven by the organization mm -hmm. and translate that for your team, help people actually translate it down to the the details of the work that they're doing, yeah, it's it's inspiring and it gives meaning and motivation. I love that. I love that. People want to know that their work matters, right? And so they want to know right. that what they're doing on a day in and day out basis. Because I don't know about you, but I know some days my job isn't the funnest job, right? And so it's like, but in those moments. I have to remember there's a greater purpose. There's a vision that we're going after. There are goals that we're yeah. trying to achieve. And mm -hmm. if I can tie that into kind of my daily uh, things that I'm doing, even when I don't like it, uh, I've got purpose, like you were saying. So that's great. Yeah. Okay. So those three levels of belief from a, the, for the mindset of a coaching leader are self, team, and organization. Love that. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So Matt, there might be someone on the that watching today that is going, okay, this sounds all great, but how do I develop that mindset? And so give us like mm -hmm. three best practices that you have found that really help leaders to develop a coaching leader mindset and the right mindset to effectively lead their people. Yeah. Uh, well, let's follow that same levels sure. okay. uh, idea too. Let's start with self again. Right. Right. So self-reflection. You know, just take a moment every day and just take, just reflect on your thoughts. Think about your beliefs. Ask yourself, like, oh, I wonder, I wonder what beliefs were driving me to do that. You yes. know, maybe you, you know, I don't, you, you, you were having a bad moment and you did something, and, and it, you know, yep. and let's 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 explore that. Or, or maybe you did something great. You just hit a home run. What yeah. beliefs were driving that behavior there? And then also, how can I better support my team's growth? You know, just kind of think about what you can do to just step it up and do better. Okay, good, good. Love that. So self-reflection, what kind of thoughts, feelings, and beliefs am I having? And I love what you said there, like just looking at the day, reflecting back on the day. And it's almost like you're saying, okay, I was, I was like, I was on right here. Like this was a good yeah. moment. What was I believing about myself and, 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 and how was that impacting the team? And what did I believe about mm -hmm. them? And then you might also challenge yourself to look at those moments where you're like, ooh, I should have done that differently, <laughs> right? right? And you're, what right. I hear you saying is have the courage to analyze both of those, both the good and the bad, and try to understand whether they were lifting or limiting beliefs that led to those, um, th those occurrences. So great. Okay, That's what right. else you got yeah. for us? What's another good tip? Okay, next level uh, up or yeah. out or however you want to think about it is is seeking feedback. We're going to think okay. about others. So now yep. let's go and let's seek feedback. Good. So encourage your team members to give you honest feedback. Yeah. We want to hear good and bad yep. about your leadership style or about your approach to different conversations. Maybe you you delivered feedback and something that was not really intuitive to the needs of the person you're giving it to. So okay. these, these can offer some really good insights and, and, and give you some ideas of where you might need to tweak or adjust yes. your mindset even, or approach. Love it. Love it. That seeking an outside perspective, right. On, on how you're doing yeah. and being open to that feedback. I liked what you said there. I love sometimes giving feedback, but receiving feedback can be sometimes challenging, right. For us as leaders. So 
Good, bud. Okay, what's your <laughs> yeah, third? Yeah. What's your third and final tip for us here? All right, let's go back out to the organizational level. Okay. And again, it's it's all about aligning with purpose. Yes. So your job as as a leader is to make sure that everybody on your team knows how the work that they are doing matters and yes. how it aligns to the organizational mission and the values yes. and help them see that the jobs they're doing really contributes to the bigger picture. Yeah. Again, this is going to really drive in this, this sense of purpose and it's motivating to, to the team. It is. And it's, I, I have found in my experience that the best place to do that is in one-on-ones with people, right? I mean, that's yeah. what you, you mm-hmm. can say it out in front of a group, which is wonderful to do with your team. But I think that's where that coaching leader style, if you will, leadership style is so powerful is because you get to have these conversations with people one-on-one where you're yeah. talking to them about the vision and the purpose and the values and how their work aligns to it. So Sure. All right, Matt, this has been great, bud. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing just a little bit of your wisdom. Folks, if you're watching today and you want to learn more about Coach Matt and how he helps leaders become coaching leaders and helps them with their overall leadership effectiveness, check out our website at buildingchampions.com or check out Matt on LinkedIn uh, and check him out there. He'd be happy to connect with you. So thanks for watching today. Matt, it's been great being with you, bud. Thanks, Dan. My pleasure. You bet.